Hi everyone, it's Jules. I'm going to be um, going through this magazine. It's a Charleston style and design issue from the fall of 2021. And I'm gonna be going through, I haven't gone through it yet. It's a very thick magazine, very big. It's one of my favorite ones to use in collaging and glue booking and all of that fun stuff. It is $4.95, $4.95 US and I got it at Barnes & Noble. So I usually try and get this. It comes out, I think, every quarter, so four times a year. So what I'm gonna do is try and find an inspiration piece for my glue books, which if you don't know um, my glue books, let me grab one because I just finished one. I haven't started my new one. So, this is a glue book. So like um, this elephant and her might have been my inspiration for these pages. I believe the elephant was. And then I kind of grab images that I feel like go with it from there. So that's the style that I like to do. Like this was probably my inspiration piece and I went from there. So I want to try and do a whole spread just using this magazine. And zoom in a little more. So first I need to figure out my inspiration. That is amazing. Well, wow. <laughs> I love that. I love the black and white with the green. I think it's a jewelry ad. Okay, let's just keep looking. Let's not get too excited. And I'm discovering I love green more than I thought I did. Rawr. I love blue, so I love that. Yeah, this magazine is amazing. That's cool. I think I'm just gonna go with this. This is gonna be my inspiration. It's pretty large, so like it's gonna take up a whole page. So I really just need some background stuff for the one page and then something else with green and black and white. So that's gonna be my theme colors, green, black, and white, or anything I feel like goes with it. So let's go back and start looking again with that in mind. Even that is like the, I could use that as the background and I don't care about that. So I'm gonna pull that out because the black and white doors and then the greenery back here, it could just be background behind her. That could be background, it's green. I'll do the video where I do the layout in my next video and it'll be a separate video just because I don't like to get my videos too long. There's a lot of greenery right there but I like that so I'm not going to take that out. Love the looks of that style wise. I like this as well. Kind of goes black and white jewelry. So I'm going to pull that out. I like that too, but I like that more. though that's uh, I think it's an artist rendering that's why <laughs> so much stuff in here so I hope everyone is doing well 
have not been spending a ton of time in my craft room, just been busy with work, doctor's appointments. I got a flat tire on the interstate the other day. That was scary. Thank goodness my husband was with me. I have taken this image out before. Yeah, I was on a, the busy interstate where it's like 70 miles per hour, and which means, you know, people are going like 80. So luckily my car is, it's like three years old, but it tells you if you're tire pressure is getting low so I had a warning which helped me know that something was happening and I needed to get over I like that green right there oh do I have that already I think we have that but so sunflowers have a special meaning for me so I'm pulling the sunflowers out I'm pretty sure I already have that one they might put duplicates in their magazines obviously That's cool with all the different colors. Yeah, I have that one. <laughs> it's a little, almost looks like a little poodle. I'm gonna pull this one out. It's not like exactly what I thought I was going for, but we'll see. I've pulled these rabbits out before. Different ones, I don't think that one. Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull this out. It's a, <clears throat> I think it's a tree. I like these leopards in the palm trees. Sometimes when I do these videos as I'm going through and I watch it back on video, I'm like, why didn't I pull that? Why didn't I pull that? <laughs> That's cool. So much stuff. I mean, every page on here you could use. I've looked at getting a subscription, but I think it's the same cost as getting it at Barnes & Noble. So I just get it at Barnes & Noble. There's those earrings. Could grab those for, although I really like that. Mm, I'm gonna leave them for now. I think I'll grab this for just the green that's happening here, see if that will work. I'm 
about halfway through the magazine. That's how much stuff is in here. It's so cool. I think I'll grab that as well. I believe I have that or have used it before. Those are cool. And they have a little bit of green right there. I don't, you probably can't see it. Plus I like the white. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, I like that. And sunflowers, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I'm okay without that. So my big crunchy glue book, I'm still not done with. <laughs> and now, you know, I have so many images, but I just wasn't feeling inspired by the images I had because I'd gone through them so many times. So I looked at those images so many times that, and I just so badly want to move on to my next big crunchy. So I'm not sure if I should just let it go and be done with it or finished out. I tend to not finish things as a lot of crafters do. <laughs> I have that, which I really love. That's a cat, but I think it's a pencil drawing. But could she, could the cat go with this? I think so. I really love it. I don't care if I'm using it twice. What are some other types of YouTube channels that you watch? I've started watching BookTube and I'm thinking about talking about some books on my channel just because I've, ooh, I like the J for Jules. I'm just gonna, maybe I'll just cut it out. But I don't know <clears throat> what types of channels are out there that maybe I might be interested in. I didn't think I'd be interested in hearing people talk about books, but I am. But I feel like there's not very many people that are my age that are doing it. They're all, you know, like in their 20s, which is fine, but sometimes it's hard to relate. Um, I can link a couple of my favorite channels down below for booktube if you like books. There's probably a million pages in here that would work. Sunflowers again. I know I've used those flowers. I used that before. The problem is there's Good images on both sides. Oh. There's some cool black and white stuff. And I've already used that, so I'm going to pull this page out with the black and white.
Should we just buy one of these houses? It's only 1.4 million. Sure. Oh, what? This house is 1.6 million dollars. It must be location. Historic, charming, 1930s cottage is full of appeal and potential. Potential? 1.6 million? What? That's 1.6 million dollars. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, so I will go from there. I do, I think I have enough. I don't know what my main focal point on the other side will be. Maybe one of these guys. But here's what I have. And then I will, oh, that could be a focal point too, post another video where I do the layout of this. And I need to find words, which I like fabulous because that's fabulous. So yeah, I think, yeah, I have plenty. Oh my goodness, I have so much, <laughs> probably too much. All right, well, I will post another video where I do the layout. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.